and I was rocking Supreme and some heavy, you know, uh, expensive pieces. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Today we are gonna be going over five rules you do not wanna break when it comes to designer clothing. Trust me, it, it could get crazy. Exactly, so we've experienced some of these rules, so mm -hmm. hopefully they can learn from them. You ready to talk about these? Let's, Let's go. go. All right, so for rule number one that you definitely want to follow, if you can, make sure you purchase your designer item in store, all right? The reason for that is you want to avoid impulse purchases, which can be deadly mm -hmm. when it comes to designer items. You'll be able to try on the clothes, really get a good feel to yes, see if sir. you like it, basically taking the proper time when making the purchase. Online, you're only like two or three clicks away from making a potential financial mistake. You know, exactly. I've been there. So now if I get the opportunity to, I go in store, I make sure to try on the item. And like you said, make sure it is right for me. Plus, when you're in the store, they're gonna treat you oh, right, yeah. okay? If they know you're gonna spend $300 on a little wallet, you know, they're gonna treat you right, like yeah, you yeah. said. The least they could do is give you that champagne and orange juice. <laughs> a little bit of champagne, a little bit of orange juice, might rub your feet a little bit. <laughs> Trust me, man, in store, if you guys can, they will treat you right. For you know, sure. usually they will offer some type of beverage, maybe a little hors d'oeuvre, you know, here. some cheese crackers. Overall, it's just a better shopping experience yeah. when you do it in store. All right, guys, that wraps it up for rule number one. There's a ton of benefits to shopping in store when it comes to designer opposed to online. Yes, Let's move on to rule number two. All right, so for rule number two, do not buy anything designer. That can be replaceable with a cheaper alternative. What we mean by this is when it comes to buying the item of a designer brand. Yes. Brand recognition is everything. You want the thing with the logo for on sure. it. The Gucci logo, the Louis Vuitton logo, the Chanel C's. Exactly. You know, there are some people that, you know, just buy designer for themselves. You Very know, true. they don't care about the brand recognition and everything. But for the 99.99999% of the population that obviously cares about that brand recognition, recognition, make sure you're getting something that you could tell is designer. You mm -hmm. spent that money on that product. So with that being said, let's go over a few items where we feel like might be worth purchasing when it comes to designer mm -hmm. and then not purchasing. All right, Tan, so this one is very popular mm -hmm. right now. First item, we got the Saint Laurent chest piece sweatshirt right here. What do you think about this? This, this is basically Saint Laurent's box logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is their box logo. They have a nice, clean, just logo says Saint Laurent. Ton of colors. Very small, yeah. very minimal, but everybody loves it. Yeah, this is something that you're gonna be able to get that brand recognition. It yeah. is very small, but someone sees that, they know exactly what it is. You look know what look, I mean? look here. It could be the same exact sweater, but if that thing is embroidered H&M or Forever yeah. 21, <laughs> It's just not and it, Saint Laurent. It ain't Laurent. Right, you know? Saint yeah. Laurent. And then uh, one example that might be an item that is very replaceable is the iconic Saint Laurent teddy jacket. Yes. Every brand makes an alternative to that right now. Yep. So that might not necessarily be an item that we would recommend. Basically, anybody could do an alternative to a tiger exactly. or a floral yep. print. But when it comes to like brand recognition, that's why you see a lot of YouTubers rock that Gucci track jacket yeah. outfit. There's no alternative for they that They want one. everyone to know that they're rocking Gucci. Yes, sir. So that's what's basically what we're saying. If you're gonna spend that amount of money, make sure there's a lot of brand recognition inside of the items. Not something you would find an alternative to at like H&M or Zara. Mm -hmm. So there we have it for rule number two. Let's move on to rule number three. All right, so for rule number three, this is probably one of the most common rules I've seen exactly. kind of be broken out there. I know what you're saying. Do not stack a bunch of designer brands in one outfit. You know out of all the rules in today's video this one right here hurts my heart the most please do not wear like a Louis Vuitton Supreme all over print sweatshirt yeah. and then you got the Gucci track pants at the oh, bottom oh my goodness oh, when it comes gracious to designer, they, they have their signature look exactly you know their logo like a Louis Vuitton monogram yeah. keep the outfit one vibe you don't want to hit them with so many different directions and vibes it's just gonna look like a hot expensive mess mm -hmm. basically you just do on everything without really putting thought into your outfit basically we're trying to get across is be mindful of how many designer brands you're rocking in one outfit. All right, so for rule number four, if you want the most value and bang for your buck when it comes to designer pieces, go for the collaborations. Mm. We're talking about LV Supreme, you know, Kith and Versace. These are items that are gonna be able to hold their value through time because they are a little bit more limited through that collaboration. The regular non-collab items, those are offered everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, the masses are gonna be able to kind of obtain them easier. Yeah. So once you buy it and you walk out the store, 
the value just drops. It's crazy. It's kind of like a brand new car. You know, you drive that off the lot, the depreciation is crazy. And the same goes for those regular items. They are very hard to resell. Personally, this is probably my favorite rule. I I'm frugal. I know. You, you know, are, I'm yeah. frugal, so I gotta be a little strategic. You yeah. know, it has to be limited, uh -huh. has to be hype, there has to be resale value. Yeah. So that's why I like this rule and the collaborations, and it kind of seems like it's happening more yeah. often. So there we have it for rule number four. Let's move on to the last rule you do not want to break. All right, guys. So last but not least least all right this comes down to your identity all right you gotta ask yourself is designer clothes right for you this comes down to your finances your personality your style basically who you are as a person if you rock in a louis vuitton beanie but you hopping out of a bucket look, 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 look. we're to. not here to tell you how to spend your money or, or to. live your life but you gotta rethink your priorities. Whew. That kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, years ago, right. I, you know, I, I was in that boat. You know, I was kind of in that <laughs> boat. You know, I was part of the Bell Buckle Boys where you gotta show off the Bell Buckle. Okay. I think I bought a uh, Louis Vuitton Damier belt Classic. and I did a uh, photo shoot in it. I did a photo shoot when I was trying to do my music oh, thing. Oh, you know? okay, I remember, I remember that photo shoot. Yeah, man, uh, so I had the belt. I asked a photographer for a discount. Can you see the irony in that? Look, man. That is crazy. Man. It, if I'm the photographer yep. and I'm looking at your outfit, look, you better not ask me for no discount. Exactly, okay? all right. You know, I think it's important because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not for everybody. No. Nah. Okay, you know, maybe the timing is not yeah, right. It's all maybe, right if it's not for you. Obviously, your money's not right yet, yep. but, you know, that doesn't mean that you can't have it later yeah. down the road. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that five rules you do not want to break when it comes to designer clothing. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree? or disagree, let me know if you guys have gone through any of these. I, I for sure have, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Which one have you gone through? Man, uh, you know, I used to whip a bucket. Okay. <laughs> you know, um, and I was rocking Supreme and some heavy, you know, uh, expensive pieces. Just didn't make sense. It didn't make sense, didn't make all sense. right. So we, you know, we've been through these things. Yeah, so man. we definitely, hopefully these help anybody out considering some designer pieces yeah. or are new to purchasing them. Let me know if you guys like videos like these. Make sure you guys check out Tan's Instagram. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Hit that like button. Share this with your friends. Leave a comment. Do everything. Make sure you guys follow uh, Tan's Instagram as mm -hmm. well. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. Till next time, we out. Peace. Peace.